know, you don't know what career you're going to have. You, you think one thing and then it becomes something else. It's all a journey. So I don't know. I just knew that I should be trained. Actually, I don't think I saw beyond that. George Bernard Shaw saying, you know, it doesn't matter. He lived in England till he was 92 or whenever he died. And he said, I have lived in this country for 70 years, but it doesn't matter. It's the first 20 that matter. Yeah. I think that is so true that everything comes from your childhood. Everything. I, I, you, you think it doesn't. You know, I've lived much more of my life in London or based in London than in Cork. but. It's those first 20 years that tell you everything when you, all the eccentricities of my childhood, all the people who came to the house, who were part of my parents' life, they're all the, they are the gold mine, they are the bomb that explodes your imagination. It's not just that I was an outsider, but that the richness of being brought up in Ireland, and Cork in particular, <laughs> no, maybe Dublin's just as big, I mean Kerry, I'm sure the same. No, no, I would say Tralee means... has it, or Galway has it. I, 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 I think we're a very social country anyway, and people are very celebratory of each other. I mean, you know, people get overexcited seeing somebody they saw yesterday. They go, hello, you know, as if it's just amazing that you're seeing each other again. <gasps> what are you doing here? They went, because there's about two streets, and we're bound to be in one or other of them. So I, I think that there's a real privilege in being brought up Irish. Irish. I, I, I do feel that. 